Faces are easy. Sky Resort is pretty good job with that one, as well as Twilight Princess. Still a glue. Let's draw some guy holding a, a match or something like that. The second dub on the right, it still had to play on the save of 3DS because it's the, the one analog stick. But still, I think it should be a harder oh sell God. for someone who played through Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. My growth. <clears throat> and you can't draw, but you don't care. <clears throat> Back in on it later if I see it. This is really pretty solid. Oh my god. 
and things like this Apple Watch emulator. Maybe we could get to a point where uh, GameCube and PS2 and stuff are running like fine doing this. on most of these devices, and that would be an interesting world to live in. But for now, this emulator is available for your Apple Watch for a dollar ninety nine. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it and how well it works for certain games. I assume RPGs work fine, but let me know if you tried playing a fast-paced platform. And then our last bit of news. Let's talk about the ship and stellar play, which includes some uh, estimated sales on the sale as well as platform of the game. You gotta get the game to see if you're in the future. Now this all can play as a press box. Can't move school, can't drop out of school, can't, can't do, 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 miss a day. Oh, you're sick. That's the only time I'm allowed to miss. Oh, hopefully, I'm going to be heading to the future soon because Square Enix just seems to say it all the time. In this case, no Stellar Blade. It could be like a year we'll say of exclusivity. So maybe sometime next year we'll see Stellar Blade. Yeah, I want you to see it. And I'm sure the mods will go crazy with that. We couldn't. But Shift Dogs also claimed that CSU gave a stage of achievement 1 million units worldwide, saying, quote, a whole street might be a high value. Future branding in the process of gathering users around the world, and building a new system. Oh, hate your mind. So hard. Oh, hate your mind. So hard. Oh, hate your mind. Maybe this is the Shut the fuck up. I don't know. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a stupid cunt, suck my dick Shut the fuck up Stop being a fucking cunt Shut the fuck up Nobody even wants you here <sighs> Oh What what shirt should I put? Just give them a really bad shirt. Seems like it's worked well enough as it is for people since the primary purpose of the phone is not to emulate games. This is a nice side, like that, right? side thing that it can do, right? But I will say, when you're just hanging out, you need something to do, the phone generally comes through. Just take a look around. Most people are even walking through towns and cities just looking straight at their phone the whole time. And we'll finish up with the comments of the day as we're seeing here. This is from Waffle that says, Physical games keeps the hobby affordable. A game might still be sent digitally, but physically new or new, so it's an after price or less. It certainly removes a ton <sighs> of competition from the space because once you say remove physical games from the storefront, we see what's happened with Amazon. I mean, we see Nintendo doesn't seem to like the idea of Amazon selling some of their first party games. Like, pre-orders, not that they don't want to handle any of that. 
So you can kind of lose the idea of having early pre-order discounts for competition's sake. And also, when you remove physical games, you kind of lose the idea of just letting people borrow games. Remember those days? And it was, it was I like something. You, you would have your oh my god! And I was drawing and I was sick and I didn't even have your, uh, the frame. I kept, oh, my head keeps bumping into the fucking yo. Oh my god. Provided everyone returned the games like they were supposed to. Does anyone else have that one friend who just happened to keep that copy of uh, the N64 Xbox or PlayStation game from back in the day? Let me know in the comments. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go do it here. Let's go use it. 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 Let's go 20 foot by 14 foot barn. With them ultimately breaking inside and finding a 14 year old boy and a 16 year old girl wearing dirty, ratty clothing and smelling of body odor. Saying this poor boy had open sores on his bare feet. Police noting that they had a small RV porta potty but no running water or lights. These poor people, they told the police they had been in there for 12 hours since they were last fed. They had their foster parents forced them to sneak on the concrete floor without any mattresses. They got to finding a third kid and a nine year old girl. The parents reportedly inside a country. Area of the house. The remaining two kids who were six and eleven, they came up to the house with their mom's two parents a few hours later. The smaller and healthy to be inside, when the white feather told police, yes, we locked them in the shed, but they liked it. And
Today, yeah, he edited the tweet three times. Just, just so bad. It's so bad, you guys. It's so bad. And, and look, uh, what do you want from me, man? You know, I gave the guy the benefit of the doubt until until we knew more. So to act like I don't care or to act like I'm not upset about what the, 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 he did is crazy. You just have to remember that he that he was a friend of mine. So obviously, I'm going to behave a little bit differently. I got some weird, you know, attachments to to uh, this. You know, I do. He, he, he was a friend. People think that we're like best friends, like we're hanging out. But I don't even know the guy outside of a wig. I took one picture together and newsflash, he was in a wig. And we talked for eight minutes. Now, I don't want to dumb down a relationship. You know, you a lot of gators and Chris Hansen and Predator references. He's doing the Chris Hansen pedophile defense, by the way. Like, if any of you have watched The Catch a Predator, you'll recognize that tactic, that, that little maneuver right there. He said they did not meet up, he had no intentions. Why are they trying to kill him? This is all fake, bro. This is all fake, bro. People wanting to see what was in the actual chat log or the whisper log. Others also wanting to know the specific age of the person about the same these things to. Depending on where you go online, there are people just kind of throwing out all these different images so that notably all of them. Like, the dog is the person he was talking to when he was talking to them. If he knew that was a minor and knows when the message is being sent, I cannot. <sighs> Fuck! I don't know. <laughs> okay. That he had those communications with this person that he believed was of age but turned out to be a minor. You know, that's what he's 
about the new footage and they were not happy with Thompson. And one former Boca Raton police chief saying this guy just came out shooting saying that Lewis didn't have remotely sufficient time to respond. Right? And all of that probably has you asking well then why did the charges get dropped? And actually we now have a better idea of why. See the prosecutors brought the evidence before a grand jury and the grand jury decided not to proceed. Which is generally pretty shocking because the grand jury will usually indict anyone on any oh. very, very, very loaded. Well, it turns out that in Georgia police officers have a privilege that no one else gets. They are allowed to defend themselves in front of the grand it appears that this grand jury blocked Thompson's initial story. So no new evidence was brought to the prosecutors to the time to go the fight. So the situation gets kind of a messy. And despite state officials dropping charges, Thompson was still looking at the U.S. Department of Justice hospital in Africa. And in there, he ended up getting an unusual agreement. They ended up making an agreement with him to not prosecute him if he just agreed to not go to law enforcement ever again. Which obviously the Lewis family not happy about. I mean, the closest thing they got to justice is the $4.8 million settlement with the state of Georgia. You know, money doesn't... What time is it? Money doesn't hold accountable the person that took a loved one drug. And all of this, unfortunately, is yet... Well, how did you draw an eye again? The, the push so it's like... Despite the push for body cam, there's still so many hurdles in place to actually prosecute and get justice. And then, so just maybe the days feel longer. I'm not just talking about daylight savings. This is actually really grind. This is actually why I've been looking for an alternative caffeine hit lately. My wife actually convinced me that matcha would be a better pick me up. And if you try and keep sun goddess matcha for the last few weeks, I'll say I've noticed more sustainable energy without jitters, caffeine crashes, or anxiety. That's why I was so excited this week to hear how people decided to sponsor the PDS. Especially because sun goddess matcha has a shorter release of caffeine and caffeine. Stupid, he. 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 St